Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and I'm here today to talk about an event that's coming up on Saturday, September 27th, down in historic Stevensville, and it's Art in the Park, and this is the sixth um, year that they've had the event. And I have Jeannie Noble here, who's on the committee to um, for the event, and we're going to talk to her about it and see what's happening. So, hi, Jeannie. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit about the event. It's Art in the Park, so that right away makes me think there's going to be a lot of art stuff. So, tell me about yeah. what kind of art artisans that the public will be able to see. Well, all kinds of art, hopefully, from flat art, which is paintings and uh, framed art and prints and photography, okay. to um, sculpture. Oh. We have several jewelry makers. Uh, wood turners. We have some oh. local wood turners. Okay. Uh, one of them uh, in particular makes the most beautiful wood bowls. Was and he there last year? Yes, he was. They yeah, are yeah. incredible. They yep. are. And they're, and everything is very reasonably priced. Yes. There's a gal that um, does needlework, knitting, and uh, makes wonderful little baby clothes. Okay. And uh, there's often, um, we're going to try to have it again, a child's, a children's table where um, they can paint or oh, create wonderful. something of their own. Okay. And, um, well, the, we, we expect about 30 artists or artisans or okay. craftspeople. It's limited to cra artists, artists and craftspeople. Wonderful. Yeah. And it's in the Pocket Park, which anybody that's not familiar with that, yeah. it's it's the area that's behind. It's next to the old bank in Stevensville, which is next to Rustico, and then the park behind there where the train station is. Um, and along with the artisans, are there any other activities that will be going on? Are you going to have music? Yes, we are. Um, we have um, Michael Waske, who's a local guitarist. Oh, wonderful. And teacher. Oh, okay. And guitar teacher. He's a young man who's, who's played professionally, um, both um, um, in uh, Annapolis and, and here and around. And he's going to bring his students and entertain us for a few hours in the morning, and then around noon, we have a jazz ensemble. Oh, wonderful. You had a jazz piece. ensemble yes, last year, didn't you? Yes, it's the same gentleman. They same gentleman. are really good. Larry Praskis has a uh, four-piece jazz ensemble. It really is a, a cultural event, multicultural event, when, when you have good music right. like that. Yeah. And then, of course, there's going to be food. You're going to have some food vendors there. Yes. Um, right now, it's it's the pits. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. That's Which is, it's a wonderful time of year at the end of September mm -hmm. to have barbecue and right. hot dogs and something warm because we've, we've been blessed to have really good weather this time of year. Right. It's not too hot. The, the, uh, the day is really usually pleasant, and we've been very lucky. So. And it's rain or shine correct? Yes, it is. Okay. And yeah. you still are looking for vendors and, and the information where they can contact is up on our screen. Um, but uh, again, tell us what kind of vendors you're looking for. Well, we are trying to be, I guess the word is highbrow and keeping things very nice culturally. So we're looking for artists and artisans that create their own Wonderful. work. Okay. A true it, artisans. Yes, yeah, that's what we want. Uh, yeah, if, if if there's no room really for people who are selling a product that's made somewhere else, right? And they're just the rep for that, right? Also, uh, a food vendor or two, if there's anybody. Oh, and John's soaps. John comes from Salisbury. He makes his own soaps. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Oh, that's something different. Yeah, it is, and uh, soap makers and candle makers, and um, even even people that might have their own bee company and okay. produce their own honey. You okay. know, those kinds of things are um, are artisan right. based, and we would love to have them aboard. And we have room for more artists and artisans. That's wonderful. And the event um, benefits the Historic Stevensville Arts and Entertainment District, yes. which um, official now for a year and two months, last July 1st, 2013, we became a, a Stevensville, Historic Stevensville became a designated uh, state district, arts right. and entertainment district. Um, mm -hmm. So this is one of the many events that are going on down there. This is one of the si signature yeah, events. Yeah, I like that, to think of it as our premiere yep. of art event for yep. the year. Also, since we are a 501 
uh, C3 and a fledgling uh, charity that um, we're hoping to bring more culture to the community and that people will not only want to be a member of the uh, of the A and E, but also to maybe sponsor right. something special. Like if there's someone out there that would like to sponsor the music, and right. this, all this comes out of the little uh, booth fees. We right. don't we don't charge any commission when anybody comes. They they just pay a booth fee, and then they whatever and then they whatever make, they, they make, make they take home. Wonderful, so. that's wonderful, and. Um, you know, just to piggyback on the whole Stevensville thing, the road project down there is almost done. Oh, they have to paint. And if you haven't been down to the downtown beautiful. area, you need to go down because the whole face of the yeah. downtown has yes. changed. Um, not to mention the direction of traffic and the fact that there's a three-way stop now in the middle of town. Yeah. So there are some other things going on. So, it, you know, again, it's Saturday, September 27th, the yeah. time. Uh, nine to four. Nine to four. Yes. Okay. Artisans come earlier, seven thirty to nine, to set up, and there is help for arti artists to set up. We okay. do have people to help direct you to where your booth is. Okay. And uh, your booth space, and uh, help you set up if you need it, and um, it goes ebbs and flows the crowd all day. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, well. Yeah. Um, we hope everybody comes out. I hope we have great weather that day. And I hope so, too. Thank you so much for coming in. You're very welcome. I just want to say one thing. I am at Artists at Work, um, been in town for 18 years, and if you need to call Artists at Work to get information or to come to Historic Stevensville and visit the area, I would love to welcome you and and, and show you around the, the town and where the, the beautiful art fair will be. Wonderful. All right. Thank thanks you. a lot. Thank you, Debbie. Vendors are still needed. Visit www.stevensvilleartsandentertainment.org, and end is spelled out in that, or you can call 410-604-1230 or 410-643-9075.